The concept of Save the Water began in 1999 and has been in research for 10 years. In the times that we were all anxious to save the whale, the eagle, and all of our species, we cannot save anything unless we save the water. We may not even be able to save ourselves unless we save the water. We save the water by doing scientific research on water contaminants. 100 years ago, you could drink from any river, lake, or stream anywhere in the world. 100 years ago, we didn't have the proliferation and manufacturing of modern products that make our lives convenient. Every product in its manufacturing requires the use of a basic raw material called water. And water has been misused in excess because of its cheap price. Manufacturers having the concept of free or very cheap water as a raw material have abused this resource. The water we have today is the same water we've always had and the only water we will ever have. The water cycle was taught to us in grade school. Water has a very peculiar property. It dissolves anything it comes in contact with. Some things fast and some slow. But water will dissolve just about anything. We've done great things with the Industrial Revolution. We've gone from a horse and buggy to outer space. But in these same 100 years, we've neglected our most precious resource. Consumers devour products and manufacturers make them with little regard to the water contamination. We're just now becoming aware of the implications of the water crisis. Water shortages are changing our thinking that recycled water is not so bad after all. It's all recycled water anyway. The real danger isn't from recycling human wastewater. Disinfection is very effective. The real danger is from pharmaceuticals and industrial chemicals in our drinking water. We're not sure what we're drinking anymore. A lack of regulation in the manufacturing of bottled water places in question its purity as well. Recent studies have shown that low levels of birth control ingested over time through contaminated drinking water could have a negative impact on human contraceptive ability. If our water supplies are not properly analyzed and treated, the toxic influence of pharmaceutical and industrial chemical waste can lead to early puberty in children and infertility in adults. The vast majority of these substances are man-made organic chemicals with very complex molecules. There's very little known regarding the ill effects that these complex molecules render. In addition to this, the effect that these molecules have on biological systems is equally unknown. Current scientific resources are geared to be more reactive than preventative. In simpler terms, there usually isn't any money allocated for research unless a problem is discovered. And by this time, it's too late. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, it's become fashionable for government officials to depict these chemicals as having little effect on human or environmental health. However, in recent scientific and medical journals, the evidence linking these chemicals to a variety of illnesses has accumulated. Save the Water is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the highest standards of water quality. Our mission is to conduct research that identifies toxic chemicals in the world water supply. We're also committed to identifying dangerous chemicals in water that prove to be harmful to both humans and the environment. Quite simply, we'll employ successful scientific methods that identify and eliminate water contamination for a planet in desperate need of it. By conducting water contamination research worldwide, Save the Water will identify chemicals and water supplies that are currently unknown and in dire need of identification. The team at Save the Water believes that, based on recent science, there's thousands of toxic chemicals in our water that need to be rigorously studied. The problem is multifaceted. There isn't one solution to solving the world's water crisis. The needs are as diverse and sanitation plays a big role in saving the water. It's important to remove the contaminants before drinking the water, but as important as the need to avoid contamination in the first place. Both of these actions can save the water. During the 10 years of research, we've learned that there's a big water movement attacking the problem from many different angles. We've also learned that the knowledge of the contaminants in the water is basic to solving the problem. The purpose of Save the Water is to test and find chemicals that the EPA doesn't regulate and to find methods for removing the chemicals found in public drinking water supplies, which will have an ill effect on human health and our environment. Save the Water seeks to build a state-of-the-art laboratory to scientifically identify toxic chemicals both known and unknown that currently exist in water. 
Water analysis is the first step towards saving the water. Unless we know what's in the water, there's no way we can remove it. We cannot save our planet and its rich multiplicity of species if we don't save the water. Save the Water will work with other nonprofit organizations, scientists, universities, media, businesses, and other governmental agencies around the world to promote global awareness of water contamination issues. The Aqua Squad is formed of volunteers from all over the world to assist Save the Water in collecting water samples and data. Anyone with the desire to help save the water can become a member of the Aqua Squad. Members not only have the satisfaction of being part of an organization that is doing great work for humanity, they'll also have recognition on Save the Water publications and will participate in regional meetings and fundraising events. The SaveTheWater.org webpage is full of valuable information regarding water. Be sure to keep yourself informed by reading the news on our webpage, which is updated frequently. Your donations to Save the Water will help accomplish the goal of safe drinking water for all people. Participation in fundraising events will help raise the necessary funds for our imminent goals. Volunteering helps reduce our costs and telling others about Save the Water will help us grow internationally. Membership is free and join the Aqua Squad to help get water samples for our laboratory. Dare to compare, we must act now. Every day that passes the Earth's water crisis worsens. Every day that we don't test the water for contaminants is another day that will consume possibly poisoned water care about the environment, the water that you drink in your health, act now. Visit our webpage at www.savethewater.org and join us. Fundraising makes it all happen. There's many less honorable ways in which money is spent. The money spent on Save the Water will benefit all. Nothing happens without funds and we're constantly looking for new ideas to complement our fundraising efforts so your suggestions are greatly appreciated. We thank you.